He's Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, willy-nilly silly old bear. Winnie the Pooh. It is 28 hours now that 18-month-old Jessica McClure has been entombed 22 feet below ground in an abandoned water well. Numerous rescue deadlines have been passed. It's no longer clear when they're going to reach the little girl. The neighborhood surrounding Tanner Drive has become a campsite for volunteers, the media, onlookers, literally hundreds, all awaiting her safe return. We'll be here until that moment continue to bring you live updates. Rodney Wunsch, Big Two News, Midland. I'll get it. Dizzy, don't open that door. There she is. Now, I'm here to help you people. What are you doing in here? When you see him here, they're out there, don't you? Now, now, that is just the tip of the iceberg. The fella out there is screaming he is from the Inquirer. I mean, he's ready to give you thousands for your story. Well, you need me, see, because I can handle a fella like that for you. Now, I, I, I just want to help, because those folks can be brutal. And first off, y'all going to have to make a statement to the press. Why? I mean, we, we want to thank everyone. Because that's the way it goes. You see what I mean? You all don't know nothing about public relations, and that's all right. Because I am here to do that for you. Now, I got a little something here you might want to read. Now, go on. Take a look. Take a look. And here's my card. Jim White, Midland Police. I'm here to help. Well, I'm sure you are, sir. And I appreciate your concern and your desire to help. But you're going awful fast. Now, these folks here just don't know what's hidden. Well, I understand, and I don't, I don't want to steamroll them either. Well, well, you but you, now, you're going to make sure that they get my car, oh, yes, right? Sir, right. Okay. He is right about one thing, though. Y'all are going to have to make a statement to the press. And that is just the way it is. Well, I'm the head of the family. I guess I'll do it. Chief Roberts, Chief Check. Thomas K, Department of Labor, Mine Safety and Health Division. I'm here to help if I can. We were told there'd be expert help on the way. What makes you an expert? I, I'm the guy they call after a mine disaster. Explosion, cave-in, that sort of thing. I've had a lot of experience going down for miners. Dead miners. Well, we can show you what we got. She's down between 19 and 22 feet. We stabilized the temperature at 80 degrees. We're monitoring their well for methane, gas, carbon monoxide. The rescue shaft is as close as we can get to that whole rig. We've decided to cross up to get to the shaft where she's at. Oh, you, you, you can't do that. You, you, you break through, you bring the debris crashing down on her. And since you can't tell exactly where she is, you, you, you might drill right into her. We'll have to go straight across below her. What's beneath her? More well shaft, 80 to 100 feet. What's to keep her from slipping further down? Nothing that we know of.
I hope I want to flatten this drift off. Not angle up to her, but go straight and come up beneath her. You're the expert. All right, All right let's go out. You are the expert. He's so shot. I don't know if he can do this. He's been in there for 20 minutes. Chip. I've been practicing. In front of the mirror. You can do it. I hope y'all can hear me. I'll try to speak loud. I have a statement from the whole family I'd like to make. I would like to thank all the help we've received from Midland, Odessa, and the, and, and the Permian Basin. I, I can't mention everyone, but all the free food, it, it's just unreal. The donations of equipment and labor have been deeply appreciated for 24 straight hours. Some men have been down in that hole digging for hours at a time, and some have been down five or six times. It, it's been great. I don't know what we would have done without all the help. But, but with the Lord's help and your prayers, well, we, we know our little girl's going to be all right. That's all for now. I'll be back with an update in an hour. What you're doing is excellent. Couldn't be any better. As far as we're concerned, you're now in charge of the underground operation. We're here to assist you. Anything you want or need, all you have to do is ask. That's the truth. I never had so much power in my life. First off, everybody in Midland wants to help. Then it seems like everybody in West Texas has come out to help. First thing you know why they're coming in from Dallas, San Antonio. So like I say, anything this man wants. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll get it. Chief, this guy just flew in from New York. Uh, claims he's got something. I'm an inventor. I flew down here on my own. I heard about this on the news. In New York? Yeah. New York, America. It's north of here. I got this device. It grabs fabric and just won't let go. You can pull an elephant with it yeah. if it was wearing a shirt. Okay. All right, sir. Oh, very good. That's very good, sir. Well, now, we have two groups of helpers here. We, some people call them kooks. We call them honored volunteers. We got a group right over there. And then there's this group over here where we might need these people. So if you would join them so we could call you. Thanks a lot. Well, you never know. We might need that thing. Glasscock, can you give us an update on the rescue operation? Uh, we're digging a tunnel right down, well, right below where Jessica's at. It is slow going, but we are getting there. So what is it that is taking so long? Well, like I said, we're drilling through solid rock down Keep there. Keep saying you'll get her. That's just a bunch of bull, isn't it? You guys are full of doing it. Doing the best we can. You guys are full doing of it. Best. What if you don't get her? We're doing our best. Come on, Andy, what's going on, Listen, Andy? we're busting Come our on. butts out there. We think you don't get her, Come on, Andy, with a watch. That's it. Rodney, we're doing everything we can to get that little girl out. Someone's got to help. Rodney, be fine. Rodney, you've been out here too long. I want you to get home, get some rest, please. All right? Come on. I know it's hard. You can't do it all yourself.
did great out there with the press. I did, didn't I? It's gonna be all right. We're all gonna be all right. She's always getting into things, isn't she? Yeah. Getting into this and getting into that. Hey, you juicy. Mommy and Daddy love you. Oh, Chip. She's the most beautiful thing that ever happened to us. She brought us together. I don't know what all this means. But I just believe that the Lord has got a plan for us, you know, for every one of us, and that it unfolds for the best. That's what I hope. slow and you know it just hear me out i got a hold of a high-speed water drill it's in houston the man told me he's in the headquarters in kent washington he says hell yes you can use it it's got 35,000 pounds of pressure per square inch it'll cut through that rock like a hot knife through butter you're a persistent man mr jones either that or i'm getting real tired i'm mean, just like anybody else i just want to help that poor little girl i call the air force they said I could have the biggest transport they got available. But guess what? Federal Express got an airplane, a 727, sitting in Memphis waiting for me. They're going to fly out to Houston, pick up the drill, and bring it right here to Midland. Now, time is a-wasting. Oh, what the hell? Bring it here. We'll have it for standby. Huh. We can land a 727 in the parking lot at the shopping mall over yonder. Mr. Jones, could you land her at the airport, please? Yes, sir. Much obliged. Now, I made a list here of a few little things we're going to need here. 3,000 gallon water tank, 100 gallons of diesel, low boy trailer, 15 ton forklift. They said they could have her out in two or three hours. Captain Dole. Yes, sir. I want you to get this stuff here, all of it. Yes, sir. Can do, will do. Go get your drill, Mr. Jones. I'm going home. Be right back. Oh, Miss Henry, I hope your car's not trapped. The news people putting another satellite dish over there. You know, they're beaming this out as far away as Italy and Australia. The biggest news story in the world right now. Let's hope we can give them a happy ending. guys are sure taking their own sweet time. I'll tell you why, too. They're going the wrong way. They miss that well. They could go to Mexico before they get to that little girl. Mark my word, the wrong way. Let them air. Pull that air down. Out of my way. All right, let it go. I want a uh, drilling pattern like this. Use the star bit to punch in holes about an inch, an inch and a half apart. I'm beginning to get somewhere here. 